Hello, this is Darlene from DarleneVictoria.com. And someone recently asked me on my YouTube channel how to add a blog category to the navigation of your website. And they also asked if I had an updated video to share that shows you how to add blog posts to a specific page in your WordPress navigation in the most current version of WordPress. So this video addresses those two questions. To start, I'm going to show you how to utilize WordPress's built-in menu tool. Menus tool, actually. So the first thing is you'll go to Appearance, Menus. And WordPress now has this uh, option where you can create a customized menu. So to backtrack just a little bit, if you aren't using this menu, you would come here and this is what the page would look like when you first clicked on appearance and menus. If this is not populated and you don't have your WordPress website set up to use the menus tool, then WordPress will just create the navigation based on the pages in your website. Um, and it'll just pull all top level pages and just display them in your navigation. If you look at my pages, you'll see that I have a bunch here. But if you go to my website, I only have five in my navigation. That's because I'm utilizing Word WordPress's menus tool to create a customized menu. And utilizing the customized menu, you can have pages, links, or categories in your menu. So let's go ahead and create one. Like I said, when you first come here, if you've never used this before, this is just going to be completely blank. So the first step is to create a menu name. You can name it anything. You can call it my menu and then hit create menu. And now you'll just do some settings. So menu settings, you can auto add pages, but then that's pretty much exactly like if you were using the regular WordPress frame framework. So any page that you add and it's a top level page, it's going to automatically be added to the, to the navigation. Well, that's not why I wanna use this customized menus tool. I wanna use it so I can add specific pages and categories and links to my WordPress website and possibly leave off some other pages that I don't want in the main navigation just because they don't make sense. A one example would be maybe you have a free report that you want to offer people as a, a opt-in gift. And while you don't want that free report in your main navigation, do you? No. So this is one great way to keep that off. I mean, there's other things that you would need to do. So regular people that didn't sign up don't get your free report but that's a totally different video. <laughs> so what you'll want to choose here is any of these theme locations. And since we're talking about the main navigation, so up here, check, select primary menu. And right now you'll see that this is currently set to main. That's because I have another menu in here that I use. So as soon as I click this, this new menu, my menu is going to be the new menu I utilize going to be what manages what is here. So I went ahead and created it and I selected it to be my primary menu. There's nothing in this menu yet. So if I go back to my website and click refresh, there isn't going to be anything in my navigation. So I have to add items to my navigation menu. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to add my contact page. So all I do is click the contact page, add menu. You can also search for a page. So if you search for about, you can click add to menu. You can also add links to your page. And this works out great if you have maybe a book on Amazon that you were selling and you want to provide a direct link to your users right in your main navigation. I'm going to go ahead and add my YouTube channel just to show you. And then I'll make it called um, YouTube. 
channel. And then click Add to Menu. And finally, to answer the first part of the question on how to add a category to a page, um, I'm sorry, how to add a category to a, the main navigation, you'll select Categories. And then any category that you have, you can select. So I'm going to go ahead and view all. And let's just choose writing prompts. And you can add multiple categories at one time. I'm going to go ahead and add writing prompts. And here's the cool thing. Writing prompts doesn't really tell anybody much of anything, if, especially if they're not someone that writes. So I can change that label and call it creative writing. But it's still linked to the writing prompts category. So when someone clicks on creative writing in my main navigation, they're going to come to a page that has all archived posts for the category writing prompts. And I'll show you that in action in one moment. So once you're done adding your, your pages and links and categories to your navigation, you have do want to remember to save the menu, otherwise your um, updates will not take place. And then go ahead and go back to your page and hit refresh. And now you'll see I have contact, about me, YouTube channel, and creative writing. So I click on YouTube channel, it's going to bring me to my YouTube channel. And that's just a link, a direct link in your navigation. And I think that is the most coolest thing um, ever. And then if I hit creative writing, it's going to bring me to an archived page that lists all of my blog posts with writing prompts as a category. And this makes managing your navigation and customizing it super simple, folks. I'm so now let me show you how to display blog posts to a specific page on your site. And it's blog posts of any and all categories. So the first thing you'll need is a page. So go ahead and go to Pages and Add New. And name your page. So you can name it Blog. You can name it anything. Musings. I'm going to name it Musings just for the heck of it. Or musings Blog, just for clarity and leave the body of the, the page blank, everything defaulted as it is, and click Publish. And now if I go here and hit Refresh, it shouldn't appear because I'm using the customized menu, and it doesn't. So now I have to do two more things. Go to Settings and Reading. And under front page displays, there is a setting for posts page. So that means this page that I select in this drop down, whatever page that may be, have all of my posts display on that page. So I am going to select the page I just created, which is Musings Blog. Click Save, click Save Changes. And the last step is to go back to the menus and add Musings Blog to the menu structure. So it's right here, very convenient, and I add to menu. And before I save it, I want to show you one other thing that you can do. So right now, these are all top level menu items. So if I go to my navigation, they're all top level. Well, I can also make it so I have sub items. So let's say I want Musings Blog to be before Creative Writing, and I also want Creative Writing to be a sub-menu item. I'll just scoot it over a little bit, and now it's a child. So Musing, Musings Blog is the parent item in the navigation, and when I show you in a moment, Creative Writing is going to be nested beneath Musings Blog. And you can do this for any of them. In fact, you can change the uh, change the order around just by moving these uh, labels. Then hit Save Menu. 
and let's go back and refresh and see what that looks like. So I have about me, contact, this will go to my YouTube channel. Now if I hover over musings blog, you'll see that there is also an item beneath that says creative writing. Now granted the styling is completely off, that's because my current theme um, CSS just is not set up very well for um, nested menus, but it works. So I have musings blog and then and beneath it is the creative writing menu option. So if I click musings blog, I'm going to get all of my blog posts, everything and anything I've ever written on my blog that is live. If I click on creative writing, it's going to do what I expect it to do and go to the writing prompts category and show just the posts related to writing prompts. And that's it. That's how you utilize the menus tool option to create a customized menu as well as how to get a page on your website that specifically shows all of your blog posts. Thanks for watching and any questions, leave them in the comments below.